This is the recent examination uh, corrections for mathematics uh, CT1. Okay, now in the number uh, 57,609, the value of the digit 7, okay, is over here. Okay, so it's 7,000, it's not 70,000 or 770. So this is the one, number 4. Now 85691 is equal to 8 ten thousands. All you need to do is uh, um, write out okay what you know from here from words into a numeric form okay in the numbers write it out so you know this this is at the eighty thousand placing right the next one is at the five thousand placing okay at the thousand placing then it's, the other one is six okay so this is hundreds what hundred six hundred so you just put here remember it's six do not be caught uh, by putting six hundred okay some mistake were made people thought that uh, this 600 means you have to write down 600 over here it is the blank what is the blank the blank is six all right six the two zero is already here so answer is one carry on to the next one now for this case if they ask you which of the following numbers over here one two three four being rounded up to three five zero zero okay uh be hard working one by one do do it like this okay once you get this rounded off is this is three four nine zero this three five zero zero and so on okay now so obviously uh once this, this is clear the answer is two this one okay three four nine seven rounded off to three five zero zero next which of the following is the best estimate okay the best estimate here eight four six eighty four is nearer to eighty so this eighty right uh, this six becomes zero so is uh, what is good for your mental mind of counting is easier to do it this way 800 times 30 26 is nearer to 30 all right so over here 800 times 30 let's carry on to the next one number five which of the following numbers is not a multiple of eight all right uh, the best and the fastest one of the fastest way to do is uh, use that number divide them by eight okay divided by 8 and uh, you should be able to get uh, an answer uh, something like this uh, an answer with, without any uh, remainder okay without any remainder this one has no remainder no remainder and this is below 8 okay over here obviously the answer is a fraction okay then this is uh, the answer will be a 4 okay 4 is not a multiple all right Find the product of 65 times uh, 15. Okay, you uh, you really have to uh, do the uh, the method you know. Over here, my method here is just to show you how I can do it simple. 65, okay, times the 1, 5. Can you see 1, 5? This, the 1 over here is 10. 65 times 10 gives you 6, 5, oh. Now, then next you have 65 times 5. Right, 65 times 5 can be broken into 60 times 5 and 5 times 5. So what I need to do is to uh, times it up very simply. 650, 60 times 5 is 300. 5 times 5 is 25. Add them up, add them up together and it is 975. Answer is 4. Next. What is the remainder of this? Okay, all you have to do, be very careful with the steps over here okay the bottom five okay the remainder is five they're not asking for quotient or anything but the remainder is five obviously it's this okay maybe one thing you need to take note is anything that divide by the number here the remainder can never never be larger like this okay larger than this number here in this case this is six the remainder is not this never Okay, and never a 70 which is larger than 6. It could either be 5 or 1. Okay, 5 or 1. Of course, if your uh, division method is correct, your steps are correct, you will get 5, not 1. Next, this answer is 3. Now, how do you do this? Okay, uh, rewrite it in your mind this way. What is when the number is divided by seven, see when the number 
is divided by 7. Okay, the quotient is 35. Remain then later on the uh, the remainder is 1. I'll write it out this way. Okay. Now, so in order to get uh, this question mark, okay, what this question mark is, do the reverse. Okay. Just like if you have 6 times 3, maybe I just uh, write, write it to you. Over here is still the same. Huh? Uh, assume assume uh, that this is a uh, uh, 1. Okay, divide by 2 gives you 3. Right? To find this number here, we take 2 times 3, we get this number back. Okay? How do we deal with the remainder? We add the rem remainder back to the total. So, the same for here. 1 divided by 7 is 35 remainder 1. So, what we do is we take 35 times 7 first, which is here, alright, the answer, add the remainder, we should get the number back, and this is the number, okay, let's move on, now the number below shows the amount of money that Jane saved, okay, in 4 months, these are the money saved, study table, and the answers, the following question 9 and 10, which month did Jane Jane saved okay the most okay of course this is a no-brainer question okay we will continue at uh, here right for this is easy right uh, January February March April okay we shall save the most 117 is the most next uh, what was the increase in the amount she saved from February to March 35 how do you do it okay 170 takes away 135 uh, which is uh, the 35 okay uh, let's let's take a look um, last month okay um, what was the increase okay this is okay now last month mrs. Lee Baker's this cookie over here sent 160 cookies and gave away 1036 of them to her neighbor how many cookies had she left? Round off your answer to the nearest hundred. All right, take a look very carefully. This is the original number, 7168. This is the number given to the neighbors, and this is how much she has left, okay? Now, most pupils would just rush off, and what they do is they minus the numbers together and get an answer 6132, and they will choose uh, three at 61632 uh, as the answer now be very careful most would have uh, not read this nearest hundred okay round up to nearest hundred is here 6132 13 13 is nearer to 10 so 6100 okay so the answer is 6100 number one let us carry on now find the sum okay sum is add up right some of the common factors of 9 and 36 leaks down common factors uh, factors of 9 and factors of 36 what is common is 1 3 9 sums means add 1 3 9 together answer is 13 1 okay let's carry on number 13 right what is the uh, difference between the fifth multiple of 6 and the seventh multiple of 9 now fifth multiple of 6 is 5 times 6 seven multiple of 9 is 7 times 9 so uh, the difference means 63 takes away 30 which is 33 right answer is 2 carry on with this simtress uh simtress means those uh, um, ladies or whom they sew and cut clothes right and uh, in the factory they need to sew now 5328 t-shirts in nine days how many t-shirts did they need to sew in the day if they sew the same number of t-shirts each day all you have to do is divide or you take this number five three two eight divided by nine and you get this number all right okay then the answer is three make sure your steps are correct if you don't quite understand know how to do this uh, look at this one by one step by step all right and try to understand yourself let us carry on okay the line graph here shows um, the height of a bean seedling grown over six weeks, right? All right, and here one, two, this probably is uh, definitely the uh, week one, 
week 2, week 3, week 4, week 5, week 6 okay now the height is here see in centimeters uh, 0 all the way to 13 right uh, then uh, we take a look okay in which week was the height of the pin settling five times the height of the pin settling in uh, two weeks okay oh sorry in week two okay five times means week two is two two cm okay five times means uh, five times five ten cm so which week is ten cm okay it's found over here that week five is ten cm so you take out this one sorry <laughs> this is not five this is two okay write that the answer two over here next okay that's all this movement for uh, this section right uh, the next section in section B I'll go through here in another video thank you